one of the critical tests that we don't do very often is a combination of a person's resistance with the flooring system. This is to give you an idea of how the system resistance works. This is before you do the walking test. This should be done. Again, this should be done in an environmentally controlled atmosphere, 23 degrees C, 12% relative humidity. So again, first thing I want to do is to check that my system can read high enough. So I have an insulator that I'm stepping on with my ESD control shoes. I'm holding a probe, which is simply just a round stock metal that's connected to the meter. So it's going to go through the shoes, through the floor, through me to the meter detecting that system. So if we look at the first measurement, you can see with the insulator there, I'm at 10 to the 11th ohms, well above the 10 to the 9th, which is the requirement for the system. So I step off, take the insulator off. First measurement you make is simply with both feet on the ground. And you can see it's just over 10 to the 6th. So that means it made the switch from 10 to 100 volts at 10 to 6. Then you have to measure each foot individually. So I'll do my left one first. Which is 10 to the 7th, almost 10 to the 8th, still within spec. And then I'll do my right one. And 10 to the sixth. You would repeat these measurements for at least three times in separate spots on the floor. In this case, I'm just doing one sample to show you how the measurements are made. 